Hi. What are we actually going to be doing during these two weekend workshops in Fitzroy in August 2018 in, uh, in Melbourne? Well, there's going to be a few topics we've got to cover. Uh, I've mentioned before in a previous video that this, these workshops are not about neuroscience, however, we will be covering neuroscience. I'm, I'm sorry for those who might be a little bit, uh, maybe, uh, have a bit of trepidation about having neuroscience being presented to them, but we cannot actually address this topic without somehow, at some stage, addressing the topic of neuroscience. The central sensitization component, well, the central component, is actually the central nervous system and the various loops, the various substrates that, that go through, uh, that pain loops and pain networks are echoed through. Uh, so we're going to be looking at things like the, the cortex, the, the brain itself. We're going, to look at, we're going to divide the area of the brain up into the parietal lobe and have a look at that and how that's relative, and the frontal lobe and the medial orbital areas or the frontomedial areas, frontal orbital areas, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. A lot of names that you are well aware of because you are a manual therapist who has graduated from a university course, so you, you know about these areas. But what we're going to do, we're going to be dealing with areas that are relevant to your practice. The whole idea here is that I'll match the anatomical substrates and the various network substrates to the screening tools you'll be using, to the examination you'll be using, to the, the way you take your history, to the way you treat your patients and how you treat them, when you treat them, what you do, how you can titrate your treatment and to the home rehabilitation and management strategies, to the health behaviour changes that are required for a central, centrally sensitised chronic pain patient to actually shift. And one of the biggest issues uh, this type of patient has is shifting. Shifting pain, shifting beliefs, shifting fear. So we're going to be addressing all those areas uh, during this, these two workshops. Um, we'll also be demonstrating to you uh, live and through videos that have been pre-recorded on exactly how to examine them, uh, the type of environment you need, uh, the tools you need, how to use those tools, uh, the type of questions you need, and one of the biggest components of the weekend will be uh, teaching you how to administer the central sensitization inventory, a well-validated screening tool. We'll be breaking that open as such and looking at, to, at all the 25 questions and looking at the anatomical substrates and the various network loops, the pain network loops involved with each one of those questions. Very specifically, uh, most of our CSCPP, our centrally sensitised chronic pain patients, uh, experience significant autonomic dysfunction. So we'll be teaching you how to examine the autonomic nervous system relevant to central sensitisation teaching you why certain things happen, why your patient's sick, why they're, they're subjective to this high sensitivity of light and sound, why movement disturbs them, why they have out-of-body experiences, why their spatial awareness changes. Um, so there'll be a lot of those areas that we'll be examining. We'll be dividing the two weekends up into uh, what I hope to be an emphasis in on the first weekend uh, on theory with a less emphasis on practice, but we'll be doing both. You'll be doing a lot of prax, but there'll be more emphasis on building the theory behind it. And the second weekend, there'll be much more emphasis on treatment, examination, but still addressing the theoretical foundations that we, uh, we discussed in weekend one. And I hope by the end of that, you'll have a, a, a good opportunity to assemble a, an approach to this patient um, that will involve good screening, good history taking, good examination, listening for, for the various anatomical substrates that will emerge out of those screening and examination and history uh, parts of your consultation and then being able to actually direct that into appropriate treatment techniques and at the same time a, 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 what I hope will be a, a good uh, range of supplemental rehabilitation techniques that will assist you to uh, improve the the state and suffering of these patients. So I look forward to seeing you uh, in August. Uh, please go to thetrophicfactor.com. Uh, there'll be information there about the Southern School of Natural Therapies, where it's located. Uh, there'll be more and more information coming out about the, uh, the curriculum, what we'll be addressing. So I look forward to seeing you, uh, and, uh, and hopefully uh, we'll have a good time, which I'm sure we will. I know I will. Thank you. Thank you.